What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel, 12th House Tarot. My name's Renee. If you don't know me, and those of you who know me, hi, I'm Nerd. Welcome back. Okay, so today we are doing a tarot reading on the topic of Mercury Retrograde, okay? So, yeah, big elephant in the room, right? Okay, so Mercury Retrograde, it's actually going to be in the sign of Libra. Libra is all about balance. It's about love. It's about reciprocation between like conversation between people that we care about um, this could be in regards to relationships like love interests or it could be like friends or people you work with like kind of reevaluating certain certain uh, dynamics right in our relationships also sometimes we got blasts from the past that'll come up during mercury retrograde so this is kind of an energetic wave going on so be aware of that so for group one we have the selenite heart Okay, so that's for group one. For group two, we have this raw rose quartz. Okay, so that's for group two. And for group three, we have this raw quartz crystal cluster. <laughs> the raw quartz crystal cluster. It's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and meditate or whichever one you felt called to first. Timestamps will be down below and always listen to your first mind. And also, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of my subscribers for all y'all sweet comments. I, like, I really appreciate it. And another thing I wanted to mention, if you guys have any ideas for a topic, you know, that I could do, go ahead, comment down below because I'd be open to that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, go ahead, meditate, and I'll see y'all in a second. All right, you guys, if you chose group one with this selenite heart, this will be your reading, all right? So we're asking spirit, how is Mercury retrograde going to affect you? Hey, Leo, how's it going? My cat just walked in. You going to be a good boy? Be a good boy, okay? I don't know. He has his days, but anyways, I digress. So we're going to pull an affirmation card, and then we're going to pull from the Heal Yourself reading cards. We're going to pull one card from there to see kind of the energy, the vibe. The theme of Mercury Retrograde for you guys. So Spirit, what affirmation do you have for Group 1 in regards to Mercury Retrograde? Oh, oh shit, y'all don't got two cards. Hello. Okay. So the first card we have is, My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Okay? So if you want to take a screenshot of that, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe, okay? This is all about faith, trusting. This is a big theme for you guys. And the next card says, the universe works fast when I'm having fun, okay? So, happiness and fun, right? This is kind of a theme coming up for you guys. Uh, how to relax your shoulders and not be so hard on yourself is kind of this message that I'm feeling. Because uh, I am getting this energy of kind of zoning out. Like you're here, but you're not really here. Maybe like mentally you're somewhere else is kind of what it feels like. Okay, spirit. What's another theme? What's a theme? Oh, hello. Dang, y'all got two cards again. I don't, I'm sorry, Leo. It flew on my cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So the first card we have is uh, discover your life purpose. Okay. So discover your life purpose. Ooh. Oh, shoot, you guys. Okay. So this card says, how teachable are you? Okay. Now, the similarity with these two cards is... Uh, both have violins. This dude, he's standing up, and he is playing the violin, right? And then on this one, she's sitting on her bed, and, like, she's got this violin right there next to her. But she's, like, she's kind of apathetic. She's like, oh, why should I even bother? And it's almost like this energy of looking on the sidelines, you see? Because this almost looks like the same chick. Like, she's watching him do his thing. Like, maybe this is this feeling of... Being on the sidelines and seeing everybody else go ahead, but kind of feeling behind. But it's because there's this fear behind just taking the first step and going towards what it is that you want to do. Okay, and I feel like maybe you're overthinking it. 
And the big message coming through is to stop overthinking and just to have fun. Uh, don't think about perfection. Just have fun. I just feel like you guys need to kind of ruffle, ruffle your feathers a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and first check in your head space to see what's going on during the Mercury retrograde. Spirit, what is going on in Group 1's head space in regards to Mercury retrograde? How is Mercury retrograde affecting their head space? Okay. Yeah. The first card we have, we have the Six of Pentacles, right? Okay. And then we have the Devil. Okay. So this, what I was hearing is, there's this obsession over, like, focusing on the wrong aspects. It's almost like maybe you have this mental block where you're thinking to yourself, well, what's the point of trying? What's the point of moving forward? Or making a change. Uh, I just feel like you guys are kind of currently lacking in faith. And this is something that's being highlighted in your mental space right now for this Mercury retrograde. Okay. Ooh. And I also, I also get this message of feeling bound to something that you really don't want to be bound to. Like you're giving your energies away to things that are not in alignment with you. There's this need to get back into alignment. Okay. I'm hearing like just feeling feeling like a prisoner of some sort. Let's get some more context spirit. What else in regards to Mercury retrograde and their headspace? Okay, no. What did I just say, you guys? We got the eight of swords. Imprisonment, man. Like I just said, there's this mental entrapment, stuck in a loop, feeling like there's there's no way to move forward or to move on. Uh, I just get this energy of settling, okay? Big message for you guys. Like, y'all have been settling and something's being ruffled. Like, some spirit's calling you to, like, ruffle things up and to not settle for less or... It's almost like you've given up on dreaming for better. Complacency. Okay. Let me get one more card, Spirit. Ooh, we got the Seven of Swords. Okay. Seven of Swords is all about deception. Could be lies like yourself. Uh, not admitting the truth. Or somebody in your current situation is not admitting the truth. Okay. So we have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let me see what I'm feeling. With this Four of Cups, yeah, you know what I'm feeling? Because in this card, you see he's kind of covering up all these different flowers with the cup. And there's this rose, and it's like being covered. You're, you're covering up some aspect of yourself or denying some aspect of yourself. It's almost like you're not seeing your own self-worth in the situation. Let me get some clarifiers. Spirit, please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the Five of Wands. I'm seeing this image of somebody who is constantly, uh, like, maybe people are fighting for your attention or they're fighting for, like, I get this person who's sitting there and there's, like, a bunch of other people who are, like, asking for handouts and shit. That's what it kind of feels like. Uh, feeling entitled to some sort of handout. It could just be pulling on your energy. And there's this feeling of obligation bound to this. Okay. Please clarify the devil. Why is the devil here? Oh, I'm sorry. Leo, why are you right there? It, la it landed on his head. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. What? Okay, yeah. So, sacrificial lamb shit over here, you guys. We have the devil with the strength card. And these are my Frida Kahlo cards. And that's a picture of one of her art pieces where she personifies herself as a deer. Being, like, you see all these wounds? You see she's got all these arrows stuck in her? And it's almost like, despite... Despite this uncomfortability, it's like... And during this uncomfortability, is this is not what you want. 
And it's like, you're kind of stuck in your head about this, but you don't see a way forward. Please clarify the Eight of Swords. Please clarify the Eight of Swords. Yep, that's what I was kind of feeling. We have the, the Hermit. It's almost like, see, the Hermit with the Eight of Swords, you know, this has been a very, is it, this is going to be, or is currently, because energy is very fluid, very introspective time to observe where you're limiting yourself, okay? And sometimes, you know, this feels like an energy of needing to pull away from people and situations that are dragging you down. And it's like you're spinning your wheels and wasting your energy with, with this crowd or the situation or whatever, like, whatever. And it does, it feels like a mental obsession because we have the devil with the eight of swords here. Like, you feel like this is your burden to carry, a burden to bear. And there's this reluctancy to lay it down. Okay, please clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Looky there, we got the Four of Cups twice in this reading. Okay. For some of you, you're holding back information that you know. Like you know more than you give off. Because the Seven of Swords talks about deceptions or shortcuts. And if you even look at this imagery, like this person, he has these swords in his hands and he's crossing his fingers. Right? And there's these two foxes on his back. Sly like a fox. Like, there's this energy of holding back something that you know, especially with the Four of Cups popping out twice in this reading. It's almost like this very detached, like, I know what I know. But I'm not going to let you know that I know. You know what I'm saying? Yep, the sun card. Illumination, this is what this is. Things are being illuminated for you guys during this Mercury retrograde is what it feels like. Now, I want to go ahead and get some more cards to check out your heart space. Okay. Spirit, what's going to be going on in their heart space during Mercury Retrograde? Y'all see how fast that was? We got the Five of Pentacles, okay? Hmm. You feel, feel left out. Like you're on the outside looking in to... It's almost like... You're... I'm getting this image of like... This is just a metaphor. It's, this could be in regards to any type of situation, whether it's work, your relationships, take it as it resonates. But this is the metaphor that I'm seeing. This is like somebody who's working like a nine to five job that they feel miserable at. They know that there, there's something that they they really rather have for themselves. And there's this seriousness, taking life so seriously to the point of I mean, you could just start crying right now is what it feels like, but you've been holding back and you're, you've been like carrying this burden of responsibility to things that just, that don't really align with who you are, right? So that's the metaphor that I'm feeling. And with this five of pinnacles, this is feeling like left out, like watching other people live like their best life and feeling like you're just on the outskirts, barely making it somehow, like whether it's financially, emotionally, uh, let's get some more cards. Spirit, what else is going on in their heart space during Mercury retrograde? Okay, we have the Princess of Disc, where the, uh, this is like the, uh, the Page of Pinnacles, okay? This is wanting... Oh, she's looking over here at this five of pinnacles. Let me check this out real quick. This is, this is you. This is her looking through that hole. And there's almost like, you feel like you've been giving all of your energy, help, whether it's helping other people or, you know, putting in the hours at work. An expansion of energy that you've been doing. And it's like you're evaluating and looking and you're seeing if, you know, if the if the return 
is going to be over here justified because you expect something to be reciprocated back to you because you've you've been doing the work or you've been wearing your heart out on your sleeve okay and it just feels like it's been a slow drag like it's just dry okay what's going on in their heart space during mercury retrograde spirit Yeah, we have the nine of wands. You're exhausted. There's that, but you're, you're you're still persevering. Okay. Oh, I feel like you guys just need a hug. If I'm being honest, like, and it's like you're probably the person who picks up the slack, whether it's in your relationship, like you're doing more than the other person, or if it's with your job, like you're the person who picks up the extra hours because. You know, nobody else is going to do it. And, you know, this is kind of wounded warrior type of energy. I just, it feels like you need some refreshment. That's what it is. This Mercury retrograde is calling you to detach and find refreshment. And I'm hearing like, and laying your burden down, like, leave that to the, to the pigs. Like, leave, just leave that. Ooh. Ooh, what I say refreshment? Look, we got the Princess of Cups here. That's what you want. You want to feel alive again, and it feels like you've been deprived of freedom or of, of love and reciprocation, compassion, understanding. That's, ooh, y'all. Oh. But for some of y'all, we got Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay? For some of you... This is a specific message coming through, okay? So take it as it resonates. You know, you've been you've been the responsible one. You've been uh, pushing forward, even though your heart your heart is aching. You know, this could be from a recent breakup or from a past relationship. Like I said, this is a very specific message. Yeah, and underneath that we have the eight of eight of uh, pinnacles. It's like despite your heart hurting, because this is the heart center, which is crazy. Like you're, you've been just focusing on work. You've been focusing on practical things, right? And then we have that ten of wands, right, right underneath there, carrying that burden. Very burdensome energy you guys have been dealing with, and this Mercury retrograde is called, is calling you to find freedom. It's calling you to, to learn to love again, learn to love life again, and to not. Oof. I just, I just, I feel like, like y'all could be to this point where you just want to slap yourself just to wake yourself up and be like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. <laughs> you just need to ruffle your feathers and live, live life again. Let me get some clarifiers real quick. Spirit, please clarify this five of pinnacles. Oh, we got the five of cups. Okay. That's five, five, five clarified by five. You're wanting to change. You're wanting something to change because everything's been stagnant lately. And with this five of cups, it's like in your heart space, you know, even especially with this three of swords, uh, you know, you could be still heartbroken and dwelling on the heartbreak, dwelling on the loss, dwelling on the pain. Okay. Please clarify this princess of disc. So we got two cards. Hello. Okay, we have the Fool, and then we have the Seven of Pinnacles, okay? And, like, you have been working really hard and putting in efforts, whether it's with your job or your relationship or whatever it is, but it's like, you just want a fresh start. You want a new beginning because it feels, it feels as though, like, what you've been working on or what you've been working towards, like, it's just dry. It just feels... It feels dead. It feels dry. Yeah, this Mercury retrograde is definitely calling you in for refreshment. Like, that's what you need. Uh, also, drink more water. Okay? That's another message. Drink more water. Please clarify the nine of wands. Hello. Oh, y'all. Ooh, looky here. We got the magician. Okay? So that with the nine of wands. There's, this, there's a message coming through. Uh, it's like this magician card, this is like lead to gold energy, like taking nothing and turning it into something. 
right? This is what you desire, like in your heart. You want this fresh start. You, you There's this need to look at your arsenal and to see what it is that you have right now. What it is that you have to be grateful, okay? So we get one more clarifier. Why did the magician pop out, spirit? Hmm. Okay. I just feel like you need a shake up. That's what it's saying. Okay. We have the four of pinnacles. You've been holding back a lot. That's what it is. You've been holding back a lot how you feel. Uh, I feel like under, like you have a lot of subconscious like energy with this magician of the four of pinnacles and the nine of wands. It's like, and coming back over here to the seven of swords, you hold back a lot of what you know. Or maybe you have you have desires that you don't speak up about. Like you have things that you want to do or and whatnot, but not everyone knows exactly what goes on. Like the inner conversations that you have with yourself. There are a lot of things that you haven't admitted to yourself. Or maybe... You, you're just coming to a point where you're starting to realize the truth of the situation and you're beginning to realize like I'm not happy right please clarify the princess of cups spirit ten of cups y'all yes refreshment ten of cups you want to be emotionally fulfilled you want to be emotionally happy because right now What's going on? This this shit right here? Like, this, this... Oh, yep, the tower at the bottom of the deck. This is what you desire. You want... You want this to end. There's this need to uproot this faulty foundation that you've built because it feels like it's been... Pre like, it was built upon fear. You know, this is like living in survival mode and you're sick and tired of living in survival mode is the message that's coming through. Okay, it may there could be some stuff in regards to past relationships that are coming up too. Maybe you've been running away from the pain and focusing on, you know, just trying to get by. But this Mercury retrograde is going to call you to heal that stuff. That way you can build your life on a more solid foundation and you can release the burden that you've been carrying and be happy finally. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get some advice cards for you guys. Spirit, what advice do you have for group of one? Okay. We have the card of resilience. Look at those burdens. Like I was saying, it just feels like you've been carrying a lot of burdens. Uh, unspoken burdens. Like people don't know this stuff. This is stuff you keep to yourself. Maybe because either A, uh, living in fear of what people would think if you were to open up about how you actually feel this fear of change because if you were to admit the truth to yourself and that's the big message coming through there's this need to admit the truth to yourself be honest i just heard uh, to stop running from yourself mm -mm. okay hello acceptance Okay. So we're card spirit. What else does she have to perform? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. The bottom of the deck we have the card of assessing. Okay, so this is very much uh, Mercury retrograde energy, really assessing where it is you are right now on your path. Um, the first card we did get is the card of resilience. I'm just getting this message of, like, I know that this is a resilience card. It feels like you do have a lot of resilience, but there's this message to lay your burden down and to accept yourself in the situation. Okay, coming to full acceptance of where you are right now. Be honest with yourself. Uh, we have the card of pleasure. Okay, like I was saying in the beginning, I just feels like things have been really dry with you guys. And 
there's this need to call in pleasure in your life, to start having more fun and have refreshment. Let your hair down. Uh, ruffle them feathers. Shake it up, right? And then the next card we have is the card of Sovereignty, the Queen of the Moon, one of the most powerful cards in this deck. And Sovereignty, I've talked about this in my other readings. The word Sovereignty simply means that you have rulership over yourself and no one can make you do anything that you do not want to do. Okay, so this big message for you guys is to start living your life for yourself and to stop living your life for other people. And if you have a dream or if there's something that you just want to do, go fucking do it. Okay, uh, speak your truth, live your truth, be honest. You know, for the sake of, of closure, to, so you can close that old chapter and go on to something new for yourself. Okay, what other messages do you have for group one in regards to Mercury Retrograde? Oh, what did I just say for yourself? Individuality. Come on, you guys. Individuality. Start living your life for yourself. Okay, we do have the card of financial discipline. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah, it's just, let's get some more cards, Spirit. What else? What other advice do you have for group one? Some of y'all need to be more financially disciplined. Uh, we do have the card of adventure. Like I said, ruffle them feathers. Go do something different. Do something that you've been wanting to do. Don't be scared. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Dang. That did not hit him this time. <laughs> okay. We got leadership. So start taking the lead on your own life. Whatever you decide to do for yourself, do it because it's something that you want to do, not because you feel obligated. Yeah, we have the card of completion. You're literally at the end of a cycle. And I say that because we also have that tower card too. Okay. This is the end of this cycle. And... You'll probably have some growing pains. Yeah, there's a need to surrender. We got surrender. Sur oh, no. I'm thinking about acceptance. We have acceptance and surrender. You know, just holy, holy, hallelujah. Since I lay my burden down. Lay your burden down, boo boo. I'm telling you. That's the reading. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you want to re-watch this, because this is a powerful message, feel free to. Because this is a lot of information. But if this reading resonated, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will be praying for you guys. Y'all just keep it pushing. You just, you do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. On to the next one. Y'all have a good one. Ta-ta. All right, you guys. If you chose group two with this Raw Rose Quartz, this is going to be your reading, all right? Now, first we're going to start off with an affirmation card, and then we'll get a card from the Heal Yourself Reading cards over here. So, Spirit, what affirmation do you have for Group 2 in regards to Mercury Retrograde? Oh, dang, that was really very, very fast. <laughs> okay, so this one says, When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay, so when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, you are more than welcome to. Okay. Okay, let's get one of these cards, Spirit. What's the theme for Mercury Retrograde for Group 2? Oh, hello. Ooh, okay, we got pay attention to the signs. Being aware, getting this message of awareness. So when I lead uncertainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. I'm getting this message to be more open-minded. Okay. I just heard not, uh, all that's glitter is not gold. Okay. That's the message that just came through. So take that as that resonates. Okay. Now we're going to check out and see what's going to be going on in your headspace during this Mercury retrograde. 
So Spirit, what's going on in their headspace during this Mercury retrograde for group two? Oh, hello! Mm. Okay, we got the Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands here. I just, I'm hearing, like, feeling like you made the right choice. Ooh, I'm feeling this energy in my left hand. What's going on here? I feel like you guys are intuitives. Feeling like you made the right choice in defending your post. Detaching. Ooh, yeah, we got the Queen of Wands here. Ooh, y'all. I just heard. Because <laughs> I'm that bitch. <laughs> okay, y'all. Commenté. Okay, one more card, Spirit. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all. You guys. Uh, you, you, you're you second-guessing yourself. That's what it is. You are intuitive people, but y'all second-guess y'all's intuition. Uh, because it's like there's this battle between the intellectual, more practical side versus the, you know, more fluid, spiritual, feminine side. Yeah, first card we have is the Four of Swords. So I feel like recently you may have dealt with a situation that was kind of painful or hard, like dealing with battles, because uh, we have the Seven of Wands here. Having to defend your post, get to higher ground. I'm hearing mental battles. Yeah, and then with the Queen of Wands here. Or I just heard the word multifaceted. But then we have the Five of Cups, okay? So this is a hyper-focused, I feel, it feels like a hyper-focus on the conflict, okay? And Spirit is calling you to see see the situation from a higher perspective and to uh, acknowledge what you learn in the situation is what's coming through. And with the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this could be having sleepless nights or overly worrying about the situation. Like, you know that you made the right choice. I just heard ripped the band-aid off. But there's this, like, it's like you feel bad. Kind of like you feel bad for having to make that, that decision is what's coming through. I want to go ahead and get some clarifiers. Spirit, please clarify the Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands twice in this reading, okay? Could be a fire sign. Don't have to be. I don't like calling things out, but I'm just saying, well, we got Secret of City. We got Queen of Wands. It's passion, fire, integrity, truth, and all that good jazz. We have the Queen of Wands, okay? Yeah, you had to detach from the situation because you, you knew your worth, okay? That's why you're kind of having this pause, this time out. And then we have the Five of Swords. Okay, you, knowing that this was a lose-lose situation, like nobody, nobody was going to win that fight, okay? Mentally, like deciding, like, I'm going to just go ahead and take a step back. I'm going to go ahead and detach from the situation because all it's doing is causing drama. Please go by the Seven of Wands. We got the Knight of Cups. It feels like you guys, I know this is like in the headspace, but like, it's almost like bringing your head and your heart together. Listening to your heart to take the higher ground. Okay. Also, you're coming to this understanding of, of being discerning of what's being presented to you. Not taking things for face value. That's why I was hearing not all that's glitter is gold. Uh... Because, oh, did you hear my tummy growl? Y'all, I need to eat something. <laughs> but that's why, that's why you're, it's not a defensiveness in an aggressive way. It's more like a boundary. There was a boundary that's set, right? Oh, I feel like for some of y'all, y'all could be just watching stuff about Mercury Retrograde, or you just like, over, I'm hearing overly prepared, like, um, kind of hyper vigilant, but more so like being overly prepared for the situation. Okay, please clarify this Queen of Wands. Please clarify this Queen of Wands. Oh, y'all, we got the Justice card. 
Mm, yep. Because you decided, you're decided, you just gonna let karma play out the way it's supposed to. Uh, as much as you would like to to bite their head off or whatever the situation may be, it's like you're just gonna let things balance out. That's funny. That's funny too, because Mercury retrogrades in the sign of Libra. We got justice with the balance scales, right? Yeah, this is being in flow. Uh, like you're, it's this is the things are playing out in the natural order that it's supposed to. Please clarify the Five of Cups. King of Swords. Okay. We get what we're clarifying. Why did the King of Swords pop out, Spirit? Ace of Swords. Oh, I just heard the truth hurts. The truth hurts. It's like, yes, you had to admit the truth, set the boundary, stand your ground, stand in your integrity, but it's like, it still hurts. It still freaking hurts. My stomach's just over here growling. We got the page of swords over here at the bottom of the deck. This is like doing the research, taking what you know and implementing it. You went from the page to the king. Well, ace, page, king. But it's like you know the truth. Okay. It just, it feels a little bit overwhelming. And maybe you do have a lot, it's almost, I'm getting this kind of like King of, King of Cups energy, because this is King of Swords with the Five of Cups. Um, King of Swords, you know, that's not a very emotional energy, but you got the Five of Cups. It's almost like underneath it all, you might have this strong, hard exterior, like, you know, logically how to move forward, but like deep down, it hurts. It hurt, you know, and... You've come to this maturity where you're not going to like sh play or show all your cards or express how you feel. I don't, look, I'm getting drawn to these eyes. Oh, y'all. Because this picture with the five, hold up, with the five of cups here, you see all these eyeballs? I'm sorry about my tummy, y'all. I got to eat. <laughs> I like to fast a little bit when I do readings because I feel like I can channel spirit better. Uh, but yeah, with this card right here, we have uh, this eyeball, and it says, When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. But yeah, uh, you're trying to come to grips with the situation. Either, it feels like, either you're already coming to this realization, or Spirit's trying to get you to see the situation from a higher perspective and understand that you did make the right decisions. And to not second-guess your intuition and to pay attention to the signs. Because if you ignore the signs, then, you know, these cycles are going to keep repeating. Or these people who are playing mind games, let's say, they're going to keep on walking all over you like you're a doormat. And that's the thing. You decided, like, no, I'm not a doormat. And I know my worth. And, you know, you can't, you got to come, come to be correct. Okay? You got to come to be correct is the message coming through. Now, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on in your heart space during this Mercury retrograde. The spirit, what's going on in group two's heart space or in this Mercury retrograde? Ooh, y'all, we got justice twice in this reading. Uh, it's that Mercury and Libra in retrograde. I'm telling y'all, ooh, y'all, ooh, y'all are just, y'all, I'm here, oh, what the truth is nothing but the truth, so help me God. Tell y'all, truth, truth, truth. We got the Ace of Swords twice. Oh my God, y'all, I gotta get, get it together, Renee. Sorry about that. Ooh, no, I'm see. <laughs> Roll the credits. Okay, let's get these cards. Okay, okay. Okay, I think all these cards came up for a reason. I'm seeing them. It just feels like there's this the cycle's been completed. Yeah, we had we had judgment pop out. The high priestess, you listen to your intuition, you're moving forward with this ace of wands. Uh king of wands. We have king and queen of wands. Complete, like, to thine self be true, like, you know yourself. You you stand in your firm integrity. You know what you want. With that nine of pinnacles is what was shown. The five of wands. Uh, did we get No, we didn't get that twice. But the, those are those uh, competitive, like, you're just stepping away from the competitiveness. You're not trying, that needs, is it? Yeah, this needs to be reversed. Okay. 
But yeah, that's I think that's the reason why those popped out. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Deciding to enjoy life again is what it feels like. Uh, first card we did get is the Seven of Cups here. Realizing that, you know, you have decisions, you have options. Uh, we have this Justice card, we have Justice twice. Things are coming into balance for you. And like, you know, I'm here in the heart of the matter, you know that this was the right decision. And because you cut out things that were blocking your progression, now it's like the world is now your oyster. Okay? Having the ability to dream again because you're not so hyper-focused on people and situations that are just dragging you down. Yeah, with this Ace of Swords, you know, this is speaking your truth, living in your truth. Like, in your heart, you know what is true. It is right and just. And then we have the Princess of Wands or the Page of Wands here. Embarking on a new journey to figure out what it is that you want for yourself and just like the spark of fire being reignited in your heart again. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some more clarifiers. Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Cups. Oh, you guys, we got the Magician. Hi. Okay, so the Magician with the Seven of Cups. This is saying, like, you, there's this world of possibility opening up. Like, you feel it, and it's like there's this, it's like you feel it, you know it, but like in the back of your head, like, and I'm saying in the back of your head, literally, headspace, you know, it hurts still. But you know it was for your better, but you know that, like, you just feel this, this newness on the horizon. Please clarify the justice card. But for some of y'all, y'all had to block people, you know? Eight of Pentacles. Justice with Eight of Pentacles. Everything you've been focusing on, everything that you've been working towards, it's like there's about to be some sort of payoff. Okay? Payoff. Like, you feel it. You know that it's like bubbling to the surface. You know, like, literally, you're on the precipice of being to the very top of that mountain. Like, you put in so much effort. You know you're you're right there. Okay. Please clarify this Ace of Swords. We have the King of Cups. Like I said, I was feeling that King of Cups energy. Like I was saying. I mean, it's just clarifying what I was saying with that headspace. I just, I feel like you have a pretty, like your head and heart are constantly like communicating with each other. And King of Cups with the Ace of Swords. This is truth, integrity, emotional maturity. You are the emotionally mature person in the situation. Okay, and I'm hearing like you will speak, speak the truth of the matter, and I just heard, uh, only, only speak, you, you only speak whenever you have a valid reason to speak. It's like you're quiet, but then whenever you do speak or you do communicate, like it, Leo, do you have? He's got my shawl. Leo, let it, let, let it go. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, please don't. Thank you. Anyway, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is this energy, like, you know, you know your worth. And you know the truth. Justice is served. And you just let karma play out. This is a big message coming through. Please clarify the Princess of Wands. Ooh, you guys, we got the loot card. Okay. And then we have the world. Completion. New cycle is beginning for you. You can feel it. It's like you're on the precipice. You know that there's a there's this fear that you have you have to get getting over the hurdle. Uh this fear it lingers, but it's like you're courageous at the same time. Yeah, nine of pinnacles. Okay. This is like almost Empress type of energy, but nine of pinnacles. Knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing where you stand, the self-made energy, like you are self-made, right? And you know who you are. And you know who you're not. I just, you're very mature. You've matured so much. And I just feel like clapping for you. you you're not going to let people keep walking all over you anymore. And it's like, 
I'm hearing, you know, people say that brave people or courageous people, they're not scared, right? But the truth is, is that's what makes a person brave or courageous is that they feel that fear and they do it anyways. And I feel like that's kind of what this Mercury retrograde is calling you to do and to see things from a broader perspective and really to start trusting your intuition, your instincts, okay? Now, I want to go ahead and get some advice cards for you guys. Spirit, what advice do you have for group two? What advice do you have for group two? I'm, just, I'm here and slow down and take inventory. Yeah, what did I say? Completion of a new cycle with that world card. You're about to jump off that cliff. We got new beginnings, new moon. That's, well, no. I was here at Blue Moon. That Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone. Oh, that's it. That song, like, I've heard that song. It kind of made me tear up because, like, I can relate with that energy. Y'all go look that song up. But we got New Moon Beginnings. New chapter is opening because you've detached from your past or those people who were just, I'm hearing, like, like, psychic vampires is what it feels like. What advice? I'm here at step through the door. Despite your fear, step through the door. What other advice do you have for group two? Fruition. Yeah. What would I say? Everything's coming into balance for you guys. All that work that you've been putting in, you're, you're, you're about to start seeing a payoff. This is the harvest moon, which is funny because the harvest moon is during the fall equinox, which we just had. Okay, so it's a, it's time to start reaping, you guys. That's the message. It's reaping time. <laughs> I'm also here Grim Reaper, okay? So that's for that's the karma. That, not for you guys, but for whoever was trying to trap you or trying to trying to trip you. But you got yours, right? Oh, we got the patience card. Okay, yeah. Like I was saying, like you it's like it's darkest before the dawn is what it feels like with this patience card. It's like you've been battling. You've been going through it. And it's like, when will it give? When will I see it? And this is saying, ooh, girl, boy, you be patient. You right there. You are passing the test. <laughs> One more card, Spirit. Hello. Realization. Yeah, this is okay. Maybe this video is a, a realization for you, okay? Having some realizations about yourself, where you want to go, where you're headed, and who you actually are. Okay? I see, like, both of the... Three of these cards. We got this beginnings card. You see, it's all dark and dreary around, but then there's this doorway, this pathway. That's green and lush. The lush, like this fruition card. Walking into your own Garden of Eve. Of Eve. Garden of Eden. <laughs> the Garden of Eve, you guys. And then we have this patience card. Look, she's looking into this void. And it looks scary. Right? It, kind of, it looks like it's going to suck her in. There's just this portal. Some sort of like energetic portal happening for you. And even with this realization card. You see the, the contrast? There's a big message coming through. To start looking at things from a new perspective. Like this card was saying. When I lean on certainty and faith. I change my mind about the world I see. Change of perspective. Turn that, I just heard turn that frown upside down, okay? Looks, all that glitter is not gold. Also, just because it looks like it's a dark night of the soul or it's dark, uh-uh. There are things have going on beneath the surface and there's, there's some breakthroughs happening. That's what it feels like. What did I say talking about void? I said this looked like a void, like she's gonna get sucked in. Look at the bottom, I need to see this. Bottom of the deck. The void. Darkness, you guys, darkness. This card is the dark night of the soul. This stuff is being purged from you because it was not you. Like it was not for you. Yes, take the lessons because this, this five of cups, it feels like a big, like take the lessons that you learned, right? Back here, these are the lessons that you learned. Count your blessings. See, see the beauty in the situation, right? Oh, y'all. Oh, Lord have mercy. The void. 
dark moon, dark night of the soul. This is right before the new moon. It's like things that have to be released right, oh y'all, right underneath that we have the card of gratitude. Look, change your focus. What are you focusing? Don't focus on the ghost. Don't focus on these folks who try to distract you from your blessings, from from what you've been working on because you've been working you've been putting work into things okay don't let people derail you that's a big message don't don't be derailed send it to the void let that shit go take time out for yourself rest and recuperate okay here's the sunshine you know finally oh the sunshine is coming have faith that's the big message for you guys have faith Okay, let's give them some more real quick from the numerology oracle. Spirit, what other messages for group two? I would say group two, right? I'd be mixing it up sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Leo. Excuse me. Excuse me, little gentleman. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Okay, okay. Two more spirit. Oh, no. Nope. If it don't flop out, I don't get it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> ooh, y'all about to be having some... Ooh, ooh. I don't know what that was, y'all. <laughs> okay, bottom of the deck, we have financial discipline. Focus on your coin. Focus on here physicality. I'm saying that because we do have the physical activity card. But focus, like, get out of your head and get into your body. Big message. First card, follow your dreams. Have such a hyper focus on what you want for yourself. That's that's the trick. To get out of that bleh, that slump where you're focusing on stuff that's like it's draining you, like you're dwelling on it. Get into your body. Put that energy towards something that you actually want for yourself with this follow your dreams card, right? Then we have the card of music. First, spirit might communicate to you through music. It might be, I think it's called clear audience. I'm probably wrong. I don't, you don't talk about where, like, you hear things. <laughs> Not schizophrenic or anything, but, yeah. We have the music card. Spirit communicates to you through music. Okay, so, and also another message coming through is to listen to music that uplifts your spirit. Okay? Then we have the card of adventure. Get out your comfort zone. Ruffle your feathers. Snap out of it. Blah, blah, blah. Snap out of it. Okay? And then we have physical activity. Get out of your head, get into your body, hyper focus on what it is that you want for yourself. Get to get what was that? Ooh. I just heard diminished. Diminish that old shit. That's what it is. Diminish that old shit and focus on what's important to you. Financial discipline. Get in the physicality, okay? Yeah, underneath that we have completion. That's the end of the cycle, right? Kick that shit to the curb. Okay? Alright. Well, that's the reading I have for you guys. If this reading resonated, feel free to like and subscribe and all that good jazz, okay? Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I send you all the love, love. On to group three. Ta-da! All right, you guys. If you chose group three with this clear quartz crystal cluster, <laughs> it's going to be your reading, all right? So first off, while I was shuffling these cards, I had a song, uh, old song that goes, uh, uh, I'm so in love with you, whatever you want me to, is all I need. That song of, where the times are good or bad or happy or sad. That song was going through my head. Like, I was like, what is this energy? Like, oh, I just feel like I'm feeling it in my tummy right now. Like, something is flowing. I'm just saying. Now. We will start off with an affirmation, and then we will get a card from the Heal Yourself reading cards, okay? So, Spirit, what affirmation do you have for Group 3 in regards to Mercury Retrograde? Where the times are good, or bad, or happy, or sad, ah. so we love with you. What we got? Hope is the conduit for miracles. Look at there. Hope is the conduit for miracles. Ooh, breakthroughs and blessings. See you later, Leo. That's my cat. He just walked out. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm done with your shit. <laughs> Spirit, what card 
do you have for group three in regards to Mercury retrograde? Hello, guys. There's a card of self love. To love thyself, thyself be true. Hope is the conduit for miracles. And self love. Ooh, it just feels like breakthrough, fresh air. Okay. Hope is the conduit for miracles. Ooh. Here in the blossoming. Take a time out for yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay, so that's the best little message starting off this reading. Take a time for yourself to love yourself, take care of yourself, accept yourself exactly where you are right now, despite everything. Okay, and hope is the conduit for miracles. All right, spirit. Now we're going to check your head space and then we'll check your heart space. What's going to be going on for group three's head space during Mercury retrograde? Oh, y'all. Mm. Oh, my card. Oh, <laughs> that's so big cards. I'm going to take those. Okay. Okay, you guys. Message already coming through. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay, that's Water Sound Energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. And I'm hearing this, oh, okay, you guys might be pretty, what's the word? Like you want to go, go gadget, accomplish, get, get her done, get shit done, right? Because we have the six of wands. This is celebratory energy. This is victory, being recognized for all that hard work and effort. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Message coming through for you guys, I'm feeling, uh, because we have this self-love card, and it's almost like this feeling that in order to feel loved, there's this craving for recognition. Like, I'll know that I'm worth something when people see my worth, okay? Because then we have the Prince of Wands, and he's balls to the wall, going forward, he's all that phoenix, you know, and we also have that Six of Wands with this bird right here, right? Which, you know, you may very well have had some sort of glow up. you changing, you're vibing, you're moving, you're grooving. Uh, like, you're better in yourself. You are. You have been working hard. And yeah, you know, there is a, it's like, yeah, I've, I've changed. I'm different. I've evolved. I've worked hard. I've accomplished all these things. Now, please, somebody, please see my worth. Let my ships come in. Let me feel loved, okay? Because next we have the devil. It's very obsessive energy. And it feels like what in your headspace, it's like constantly looking for the valid validation. Like this is a metaphor. It, it, it might not be something that you do per se, but it's just the metaphor. I'm um, seeing this metaphor of somebody who posts a really nice picture of themselves on Facebook or on social media platforms. And like, you know, whenever people start liking or hearting it, like, it makes you feel good. You get that release of dopamine. And there's almost this addiction to this type of validation. Like, when people react to the way that I move and groove, like, it makes me feel good, right? Because then we have the three of wands. This is, like, waiting for your ships to come in. Because you have been putting in a lot of work and doing the glow-up work and vibing and jiving. I don't know why I'm, like, talking like this. You guys, I don't know. There's some groovy energy going on with this reading. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is a someone who is self-made. Uh, she's, you know, you could be a dude or a chick. Self-made energy. Just her started from the bottom, now we're here. But the, what this Mercury Retrograde is is here to show you is start focusing on self-love as in acknowledging where it is that you're craving that validation like the only person who should be validating you is you okay big need to start thinking for yourself and to start validating yourself and to not put so much expectation on other people to do that okay please clarify the six of wands spirit the high priestess okay i'm hearing like am i good enough like it just it feels like you you might put on this facade of like this self-made imagery as in like 
letting people see what you want them to see, right? Only show people that good side of yourself because if they were to see that other side of you, would they love you, okay? Big message coming through to just accept yourself for who you are right now despite any short shortcomings that you might have. With this high priestess, it just feels like very, like you might not have been really aware that you've been doing this, okay? And I'm not trying to be like, oh, you're just a, you know, self-absorbed person. I'm not doing that, okay? Like, this is all coming from love. And this is high priestess with that six of, of wands here. It just, it feels like this... Just feeling like you need that validation. But what the message is coming through is like, you are intuitive to stop second guessing yourself, to stop letting other people decide for you and to start to decide for yourself, for yourself, not for other people. Please clarify the Prince of Wands spirit. Okay, yeah, what did I say? Self-made, like, I do feel like y'all do be feeling good about yourself, right? But you feel even better when people compliment you, okay? But just acknowledge where, because with this devil energy, I'm telling you, don't be bound to other people's opinions or uh, the validations, because it, it does feel like it feeds your ego. There's this need to take a step back and to just, like I just said, just love yourself fully. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, you know, you are stable. You've worked hard to get to this point. You're not who you used to be. Congratulations. Like, fuck yeah. Do that shit. Well, with the Emperor, okay? Very masculine energy you guys have. Okay? Uh, you stand, I'm hearing, you stand in your, in your integrity. You know, it's like you do know your worth, but like there's this obsession of wanting other people to know your worth. It's like, I know my worth. Why don't they see it? Okay. And here's the thing. I just, it feels like people do see it. It's just that you don't, you're not trusting yourself. That's what it is. Please clarify this devil card. Oh, hello. Okay, we got the four of swords. I just heard the words overthinking and reminiscing. You know, this is kind of the metaphor that I'm picking up. Let's say in your past you were, you know, you were, you didn't have your shit together, right? And so there are certain people from your past maybe that, you know, they saw you at your lowest. And then y'all grew apart, you started focusing on yourself, bettering yourself, and then now you go come to this point where you're a completely different person. You're transformed, but there's like this uh, obsessive energy of trying to impress those people, people who are not in your life right now. That's what it kind of feels like. Because this four of swords, this is kind of healing energy. This is like taking a step back. Uh, this is kind of close to hermit energy in a sense, like being that it's very detached. Okay, but with the devil card, this is. Even if you are like not like you don't see those people anymore, you're kind of, you're you're in your own world now, and but there's this there's just been this reminiscing or obsessive thinking over, uh, of like you just want the validation, you want those people to congratulate you, be like I'm not that person I used to be, you know, and I it's like you know you posted those pictures hoping maybe people from your past come check your Facebook out or something, and hopefully they'll like see how great you are now, right? Please clarify this three of wands here, spirit. Ooh, okay, we got two. Oh, hello, what's happening? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do, I feel like y'all really have come a long way. I feel, like, I, if ain't nobody else said it, I'll say it for you. Like, I'll say it to you. I'm proud of you. But I feel like you need to hear that. And I'm going to say it. I'm proud of you. Spirit is proud of you. Okay. Uh, start to be proud of yourself and trust yourself. 
we have the chariot okay I don't know why I just heard I don't know if I should shit or get off the pot uh, because it's like contemplating if you should wait for your ships to come in or wait for that validation or wait for that message of approval or uh, I'm also hearing wait for an apology wait for closure or should I move forward and go do it my damn self you know with this chariot card then we have the king of wands I am getting this message coming through that mentally uh, you've been waiting you've been waiting okay and it's like you don't want to wait anymore that's the message that's coming through don't want to wait anymore want to go forward want to go towards what it is you know and this i feel like it has to i don't know this is weird because the king of wands not only is he a king he's a king who takes action with the chariot i just feel like you're you're sick of waiting for something please clarify the queen of pinnacles Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I will get the ones that flipped out. Yep. We have the Two of Swords. Like I, there's this decision. I just feels like there's a decision that you're you're wanting to make with the Two of Swords, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Maybe I should look at these two cards that popped out. Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups. For some of you. This has to do with past past situations, past people. And I'm saying that this is what I'm feeling, okay? Two of Swords. Because, like, you've been waiting. Hoping that some, these people or a person would notice you. Notice your change. Notice your glow up. Because we do have that Queen of Pentacles here. And maybe this is the person, like, you... Maybe you and those people have grown, but you just wish for clarity or closure or something like that. Fortune meets opportunity is what I just heard. Seven of Wands here. You know, you don't know if you want to keep defending your post to stay where you're at, or if if you want to just go ahead and be the one who comes forward. Or, you know, it, it just feels like maybe you, you do still carry some sort of admiration or love for these people or persons from your past yeah we have the sun card at the bottom of the deck illumination feeling good in your skin okay i want to go ahead and get some cards for your heart space see what's going on in your heart space spirit what is going on in group three's heart space yeah there's a seven of wands again It says, what did I just say? You don't know if you want to stay and wait or if you want to go forward and I just heard relay the message because we have the eight of wands here. I just heard my mind's telling me no, but my body, <laughs> my body is telling me yeah. <laughs> it's like, like I said, don't know if you want to share or get off the pot. Like, hey, Leo, how's it going? That's my cat. Uh, yeah, eight of wands. It's moving forward, uh, moving forward quickly, passionately. But then we have the seven of wands again, or stay in this higher ground, having to stay on your post, and you know it just feels like I'm hearing mind games. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, battle of the egos. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Amy Winehouse, "Love Is a Losing Game." I think that's what it was called. Okay, let's get some more cards. Spirit. Oh, hello. Yeah, we got the judgment card. I'm hearing, like, I feel like, like, it, I'm hearing, I gotta act quick. I gotta act quick. Because things, it, things have, there's been this waiting game, okay? With this judgment card. For some of you guys, this is this need to resurrect something to gain some sort of insight or closure is what it feels like. What else spirit is going on in their heart space? Ooh, King of Wands. Did we get that? Let's see. No, but I think we got... 
No, we did. We got the King of Wands twice. Oh, yeah. It's right here. Got the King of Wands. Okay. You know, he's not even sitting on his throne. He's standing up. He's taking action. This is what you want to do. Uh, we'll get one more card because y'all did get five cards popped out. What else is going on there, Heart Space Spirit? You have a passion, whether it's for someone or, ooh, <laughs> what did I just say? I just heard, let bygones be bygones. We have the High Priestess twice in this reading. So it feels like your intuition lately has been screaming at you. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your mind. It's like, because like I said, I don't know if I want to shit or get off the point. I know I keep saying that. I'm not trying to sound vulgar. It's just a metaphor. Because we got this forward movement. We have eight, eight. Eight, the infinity symbols about cycles. It's like, do you want to keep continuing the cycle where you're kind of chasing your tail? Or do you want to stop the cycle? Either A, confront what it is that needs to be confronted. Or B, move on. Okay? I say that because we have the eight of cups. Walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling us. Because there's something else. Okay? And for a lot of y'all, it could be, you know, you've been obsessively looking for that validation for someone to validate you. And spirit is calling you to validate yourself. Because it feels like, like in your heart, it's like you want to get off that hamster wheel. You have a fire in your heart. You know who you are. You've matured a lot. We have the King of Swords, not King of Swords, King of Wands twice in this reading. With the Emperor. With this Knight of Wands who's on a Phoenix. Like this, you guys are a powerhouse. Okay? And it's like you feel like other people don't see that. But the truth is, is like, people do see that. It's just sometimes you, you second guess yourself. You question who you are. Like, am I... You know, maybe ha having the past taught to you. Because like I said, Mercury Retrograde can resurrect things from your past. And it's in the sign of Libra. It could be regards to past relationships. I just heard bury the hatchet. Wanting to bury the hatchet on something. Okay? But there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. And it feels like y'all y'all been in this type of limbo. Okay? We go ahead and get some clarifiers. Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Wands. Ooh, got two cards. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups. Got Contradicting Energy, Strength card. You've been holding on to some sort of burden, it feels like. Biting your tongue, not speaking up. We're not... It's like, you have changed and grown a lot, but there's still a part of yourself. I feel like you're... You're holding back a lot, not being completely honest with yourself. With this Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, this is like, you know, kind of apathetic. Things have gotten kind of, what's the word? Routine? Not really, it's like there's something else on the other side. Like there's so, something else that you want. Whatever's being presented to you right now, you're not digging it. You're not vibing with it. And with this strength card, you know, you see the imagery, the Frida deer being stabbed, but she's still, like, surviving. I just heard, I just want to throw caution to the wind. I'm tired of being cautious, right? Please clarify the Seven of Wands. Ooh, did that popped out in the reversal. Yep. We have the Eight of Swords in the reversal. I feel like you've come to some realizations. Eight of Swords. That's like... It's like mental entrapments, but it's like you're... You're no longer mentally stuck. Like you... You know the truth of the situation. You can see clearly now the rain is gone. I'm hearing, what else do I have to defend? What else do I have to lose? Please clarify the judgment card. I just feel a lot of contradicting energy energy going on with you guys. It's like, like you know what you want, but you don't trust yourself to know what you want. As in, like, 
I'm hearing, is it risque? That's a message coming through. Please clarify the judgment card spirit. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like, I don't know, did this one pop out on the reversal? Please clarify this Nine of Cups spirit. Ooh. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the World. Okay, so Nine of Cups. Then we got the World. Okay. Let me just tune into this real quick. You know, you're questioning if you're emotionally satisfied with where you're at. If you want to stay where you're at or if you want to embark on a new journey or start a new chapter or go towards something different, something new. Okay, please clarify this King of, King of, I keep wanting to say King of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Let's go for the King of Wands. Why am I saying the King of Swords? It's interesting. Y'all see how aggressive that was tossed? Jesus. Okay. There we go. Got, a, got an eyeball itch. Got to scratch it with my bow rod. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. This is like there's this you just you guys have like a lot of focus that's what i'm picking up with you guys you guys have a lot of focus on whether it's your work laying solid foundations like i said this king of woods like he's not somebody who just sits there and delegates like he goes in there with the people and he works alongside them uh you're not afraid of hard work let me see what why did the eight of pinnacles pop out spirit is it worth putting the effort into page of cups is it worth putting in the work is it worth coming forward is it worth wearing my heart on my sleeve should i follow my heart should i follow my heart or should i stay where i'm at please clarify the eight of cups oh Guys, this popped out in the reversal. We have the lovers. It popped out in the reversal. Mm. Could be past relationship. That's what it feels like. This one popped out. Yes, it did. Yep. Yep. Three of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you could be longing. That's what it feels like. This is longing energy. It could be from a past relationship or something like that. Or if it's not relationship. The lovers does represent decisions. I'm hearing, would it be foolish for me to make the decision to go towards that? We'll get one more card. One more card spirit for the three of pinnacles and the lovers. Yeah. Seven of pinnacles. Feeling like maybe it's not quite the right time to do that. Page of pinnacles, yeah. Beginning points of, it's very, you know, sometimes you guys battle between practicality and passion is what it feels like. Would it be worth leaving it all behind and going towards what I want? It, it just doesn't feel like you guys feel ready. Okay. Not really ready to do that, to make that decision. Okay, I want to go ahead and get some advice for you guys. Spirit, what advice do you have for group three? Ugh, you guys, I can't. That's too many. Hold up. This one wants to come out. Oh, we got the card of boundaries. Okay. Spirit, what advice do you have for group three? We have boundaries and discernment. I just feel this longing energy, okay? Okay. We have wisdom at the bottom of the deck. Taking everything you've learned and 
implementing the knowledge moving forward, okay, with that wisdom card. First card we do have is boundaries. I don't know why with this card, like, the coloration reminds me of the self-love. It's like examining why it is that you're doing what you're doing. See, this is just this pink energy. I don't know if you can see in the sliding with, with, with my camera. They kind of remind me of each other. They even have dark hair. So you might have like fair skin and dark hair. It's kind of, you don't have to, but that's just what it feels like. Um, setting boundaries in regard and having discernment of like, why it is you do the things that you do? Like, why are you going towards success? Is it to impress people or is it because you genuinely want to do that? You want to be successful, you know? Uh, we have the card of discernment. We have discernment, change, and realization. I'm hearing, where where are you devaluing yourself? Okay. Yeah, with the card of change, it's time to change things up in the situation. I'm feeling kind of tower moment because there is this like thunder lightning. And around this discernment card, you know, we have this cloud over her face. Cloud, thunder. It feels like maybe you've been bottling up a lot and there's this need to let it out. To lay your burden down, to cry it out or something like that. It just feels like like this cloud above you that's been swelling is what it feels like. Then we have this card of realization. Admitting admitting the truth to yourself. Okay. It just feels like there is this moment to open your heart up and to allow for vulnerability to heal your heart. And to love yourself fully. And remember in the beginning, hope is the conduit for miracles. Okay. I feel like in this very space, in this very moment, it's a time to just to just be. Okay. I'm gonna get one more uh one more deck from the uh numerology oracle spirit what other messages do you have for group three what other messages do you have for group three what other messages do you have for group three i'm hearing to focus on what's important to you right now so we do have the parenting card or the leadership card for some of you who have kids Maybe, like, yeah. Instead of... Try, ooh, hello. Okay. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we do have love partnership. Like I was saying earlier, it does feel like uh, something in regards to love partnerships. Uh, uh, this, this feeling of wanting to make amends or something like that is what it feels like. Uh, spirit has has the card of leadership. It's trying to take the lead in your own life and to listen to yourself and not uh, do things because it's something that you want to do, not because other people are influencing your actions. Then we have the parenting card. You have a gift with children is what I'm hearing. And also if you have children, like let that be your motivation why you better yourself. But really just hone in and focus on that. You know, I just feel like you, you guys are very hyper-focused on things. Like when you get stuck on something, like that's it. Uh, next card we do have is the card of abundance, eight eight. So start to be grateful for all the lessons that you've learned and to count your blessings. And then we do have karmic completion. You're at the end of a cycle. Okay, we did have the world card. If something's not feeling right, there's a reason, and there's this need to just let go and let flow. Okay, because I feel like this kind of stuck energy of uh. Super, like I'm here. I heard superficial, but not in the sense of like being stuck up, but like only wanting to focus on the on on what's tangible or in your face. But there's this need to get a little bit deeper with yourself and be honest with yourself. Okay, and then we have the card of communication. Like I said, be honest with yourself. Be honest with other people. I just heard, don't be frightened. <laughs> so take that as that resonates. Okay, I know this is like a big message for you guys. It's like 31 minutes old. I've, you know, if it resonated, feel free to like and subscribe. These messages come in for healing. That's what we're here for, okay? So, I'll be praying for you guys. Y'all gonna get through this Mercury retrograde, okay? Uh, just listen to your intuition. To thine self be true, okay? Well, I'll send y'all all of my love. 
I just, I will give y'all so many kisses. <laughs> I just feel like y'all need it. Y'all need a hug. Spirit's proud of you. I'm proud of you. Your ancestors are proud of you. God bless. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time. Ta-ta.